Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Asad Yaqub and I am from Lahore, Pakistan. And once again, I welcome you guys to my IELTS reading video. In this video, I'm going to give you some magic tips and tricks to deal with true, false, not given. If at present you hate true false not given or you dislike true false not given at the end of the video you are going to like it you are going to love true false not given i'm going to tell you the difference between true and false and how to decide whether some statement is false or not given all these techniques i'm going to give you although this video is for gender training but it is very very useful for academic IELTS candidates who are struggling with their IELTS reading. So this is going to be the foundation course for academic IELTS candidates. Without wasting any time, now let's go to the book, to the test and there with magic pencil, I'm going to solve the test for you. Let's take a start. Well guys, let's take a start. The question type is true, false, not given. So they say do the following statements agree and all that. Let's read the questions together. Question number nine says you can work through parts of a course more than once. Now remember whenever there is true false not given all the trickery is in the questions. All the tricks, all the tricks of the examiner, they are in the questions and passage is very simple. There isn't any trickery in the passage. The trickery is in the questions. Now over here this day, you can work through parts of a course. Parts of a course means different sessions of a course more than once. Now you have to convert it into three forms. If you can work through parts of a course more than once, then it is true. If you can work through parts of a course once or less than once or only one time, then it is false. And if they don't tell us the frequency, now more than once is a frequency. If they don't tell us whether it is more than once, more than twice, then it is going to be not given. Let me tell you in true false not given questions and passage they are in the same order now we just go back to the passage and we just see where do they talk about it all right now let's scan the first paragraph and we see learn with us courses learn with us courses are a great way to learn because they are so flexible okay all of our courses are taken online using a computer okay so you can work through the course at your own speed all right and go back to any session whenever you want to now this is important they say all of our courses are taken online using a computer okay now this information is important so you can work through the course at your own speed the first thing and go back to any session whenever you want to this is the clue whenever you want to means more than once now what is the question you can work through parts of a course. Now parts of a course and then the next thing is more than once. Let me tell you. For parts of a course they say go back to any session. Session is actually a part of the course. Whenever you want to and for this whenever you want to they have actually said more than once whenever you want to more than once hence the answer of question number nine is true okay that's good now let's go on question number 10 number of courses offered by learn with us number of courses offered by learn with us has increased enormously now convert it into if sentence if number of courses have increased enormously it's true if number of courses have decreased enormously then it is false or have increased slowly then it is false right i mean not enormously opposite of enormously whatever and if they don't tell anything that the number of courses increased or decreased then it is not given now once again number of courses offered 
have increased enormously. So we go back. Now we try the next paragraph. We offer hundreds of courses. Now they say we offer hundreds of courses. This hundreds in a whole range of subjects from reading, writing and maths to business and management. Many of these are specially designed for people whose first language isn't English. We offer hundreds of courses. Now some of you are going to confuse hundred of courses with increased enormously and you are going to say yes the answer is true because there they say hundred of courses and here they say increased. Let me tell you number of courses offered increased enormously they did not say anything whether the courses have increased enormously or decreased they only say we offer let's just go back and you can see they say we offer hundreds of courses in a whole range of subject but increased or decreased enormously there is no mention that is why for question number 10 the answer is Okay, so avoiding the trap can help you with that. Question number 11, many staff members, okay, staff members, that is important here. Many staff members have worked through a learn with us course themselves. Now, if many staff members, many is also important. If many staff members have worked through learn with us course, then it is true. If few staff members have worked through a learn with us course then it is false and if they don't tell us the frequency whether that is many or few uh, or they work with star with the, the courses that it is not given now let's go on step one have a chat with a friendly member of staff that is staff member now we need to find out many of them have worked with uh, the course or not. Step 1. Have a chat with a friendly staff member in one of our 1500 learn with us centers around the country. They. They means staff. They can advise you on the most suitable course. They will. They means staff. They will also work out whether you qualify for funding and all that. So they did not say anything that the staff member, many staff members have worked through a learn with us course themselves. In the next sentence, there was the change of topic. That is why the answer to this question is not given. Wow, I made a mistake actually. Question number 11 is not false. It's not given. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> All right. I was overexcited. Huh? Why not given? Because the number of courses offered by has increased enormously. And over here, they did not mention anything whether the courses have increased or decreased. They only say we offer hundreds of courses. That is why this is not given. Okay. Now, let's go on. Question number 12. You may have to pay to take a learn with us course. Now, you may have to pay. This is important. To take a learn with us course. Now, remember, if you have to pay to take a course, then it is true. If you don't need to pay to do this course, then it is false. And if there is no mention whether you have to pay or not, then it is false. Uh, actually not given right okay let's go on <clears throat> I read it ahead uh, they say they'll also work out whether all right now from here because here we found the other answer they will also work out whether you qualify for funding funding means you don't have to pay and if you read until here so they will also work out whether you qualify. Now, it does not mean everybody will qualify for funding. So that you won't have to pay. So that you won't have to pay means only 
when you qualify for funding then you won't have to pay now those who are going to read until here they are going to come back excitedly you may have to pay to take a learn with us course and they say okay okay here it says uh, qualify for funding so that you won't have to pay won't have to pay means you don't have to pay so the question is you you may have to pay no you don't have to pay the answer is false let's read on never decide without reading the complete sentence and then they say so that you won't have to pay the full fee for the course when they say you won't have to pay the full fee for the course that means you have to pay half fee or a little amount of fee or a little proportion of fee so the full fee for the course and over here they say you may have to pay to take learn with us course so the answer is true why true because you have to pay you may have to pay means a little portion when they say uh, also work out whether you qualify for funding so that you won't have to pay the full fee when you don't pay the full fee you pay half fee you pay one quarter of the fee but still you have to pay so this is the answer here Okay guys, question number 13. Everybody takes the same taster lesson. Now there is one lesson that is called taster lesson and everybody takes same taster lesson. Now over here the important thing is same. If everybody takes same taster lesson, then it is true. If everybody takes different taster lesson, then it is false and if they don't tell us whether everybody takes same taster lesson or a different taster lesson then it is not given now we are going to see whether it is true false or not given taster lesson you might want to try a taster lesson that means the answer is here you might want to try a taster lesson first this is a single computer session now do not mister misunderstand single computer session this is a single computer session in any subject of your choice now when the subject is changed how can the lesson be same I mean you need to understand what do they say here everybody takes the same tasted lesson if the lesson is same how come the subject is of your choice then you should not have any choice right so they say here uh, this is a single computer session in any subject of your choice and it will show you what learning with learn with us is like when it is a single computer session in subject of your choice that means it is not the same lesson so everybody takes the same tasted lesson this is subject of your choice that doesn't make the same lesson hence the answer is false right for question number 13 the answer is false now let's go on with question number 14 learn with us centers are open several days a week now sorry seven if learn with us centers you can use it center only if learn with us centers are open seven days a week then it is true if they are open five days a week or six days a week then it is false and if they don't tell us whether they open seven days a week or five days a week or three days a week then it is not given now let's see when you made your final decision step two is registered they're talking about registration once you've done this get started whether you are using a computer at home all right there isn't anything that's all you need to know when you start your course you can contact your learn with us center by phone we are open Ta -da -ta -da. we are open during normal office hours normal office hours now let's compare normal office hours with seven days a week now normal office hours means monday to friday normal office hours means nine to five okay so here they say seven days a week and there they say we are open during normal office hours hence the answer is false yes that's right 
So this is how to deal with true false not given. Well, I was a bit absent minded and I apologize for that. When I did question number 10, it's very, very obvious. The number of courses offered by Learn With Us has increased enormously. And over here, they say we offer hundreds of courses already the offer. But they do not mention anything, whether the courses have increased enormously or decreased or anything. So that is why this is not given. My apologies for being my absent mindedness. Thank you very much, guys. Welcome back. See, guys, now you understand why and how some statement can be true. Why and how some statement can be false and not given. Now, the learning of this video should be with you and these are the techniques which you have to use when you are going to do true false not given if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe my channel i have another channel asad yakub vlogs you can subscribe to that as well and i have a facebook page asad yakub ielts you must like my facebook page I teach IELTS online. If you want to join my online IELTS classes, my WhatsApp number is given. You can contact me for that. Asad Yaku wishes you all the best with your IELTS reading. Take good care of yourselves. Allah Hafiz.